They didn't know it yet, but the secret of every human life was about to reveal itself in a quiet room on a scrap of metal under the weight of pure curiosity. It's 1953, Cambridge, England. Outside, bicycles whisper over damp stone streets. Inside the Cavendish laboratory, the air smells faintly of paper, dust, and old coffee. Two young scientists pace the floor, restless, driven by a question so enormous it almost feels dangerous to ask. What exactly is life made of? For decades, scientists had chased fragments of the answer. They knew about DNA, this strange molecule buried deep inside cells, but it was treated like a side character. Too simple, too repetitive. Surely the complexity of life had to come from somewhere else. But James Watson and Francis Crick weren't satisfied with surely. They were obsessed with structure, shape, the idea that form itself could explain function. They gathered clues like detectives at a cold case, chemical ratios, X-ray diffraction patterns, scattered data from labs across Europe. One image in particular haunted them, an X-ray photograph showing a ghostly X-shaped shadow. It hinted at a spiral, something elegant, something hidden. Still, the pieces didn't fit, not yet. Then came the turning point, the quiet electric moment when scattered facts snapped into alignment. Metal plates clicked together, cardboard bases paired up, almost insisting on it. Adenine with thymine, cytosine with guanine, always the same, always precise. Suddenly, the impossible became obvious. The molecule wasn't a tangle, it wasn't chaos. It was a ladder, twisted, a double helix, two strands wrapped around each other, carrying instructions written in chemical letters. Not just a molecule, but a message, a code that could copy itself, repair itself, pass itself forward through time. In that instant, biology changed forever. Because if DNA held information, then life wasn't just chemistry, it was communication. Every cell, every organism, every human being was carrying a story billions of years old, written long before memory, language, or history. In April of that year, the discovery was published in just one page. No fireworks, no grand announcement, just a calm sentence suggesting a structure with novel features of considerable biological interest. An understatement that reshaped medicine, genetics, forensics, evolution, our understanding of who we are. Today, that double helix is everywhere, in textbooks, in logos, in art. But its true power isn't in its image. It's in the quiet realization it brought. That life at its core is beautifully ordered, and that the answers to the biggest questions can emerge from patience, curiosity, and the courage to look closer. If this story sparked something in you, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below about what scientific discovery you think changed humanity the most.